We're going to take another look at the 2025 recruiting class, and we're going to shine a spotlight on five-star linebacker Zayden Walker. We're going to look at his highlights. We're going to look at his 24-7 sports player profile page. But before we do all that, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're covering the 2025 recruiting class every day this offseason on top of the 2024 class, player by player, so you know what your players look like before they hit the field. Here's his 24-7 sports player profile page. If you're here for just the highlights, fast forward a few minutes, you will get there. He is a bona fide five-star prospect, ranked as the top linebacker in the class per 24-7 sports, ranked as the LB2 in the composite ranking, six foot one and a half, 225 pounds. They do not have a crystal ball prediction right now, but he does have 29 offers, as you can see down here, which is rather solid. You scroll down here, you look at the schools, Georgia, Miami, South Carolina, Florida State, Penn State, many top Power 5 programs, which is good to see. Going down to the scouting report, we do not have one, but he does track, and he also plays basketball. So we're going to have a good footwork. We're going to be able to box out. We're going to be able to read the ball while it's in the air. Also runs the 100-meter dash, 11-4-7. So we're going to have decent speed at the linebacker position from what I read there. Also, his brother signed with South Carolina. And his other brother is a defensive lineman for Auburn. Going down to the timeline, Georgia, Miami, South Carolina. Everybody wants him. Power 5 schools wants him. Top-tier prospect. Going over to on three. He's a four-star prospect with on three. Four-star with ESPN and Rivals as well. Ranked as the sixth best linebacker with on three. Number one with ESPN. They may not like this linebacker class. Number two with Rivals. Maybe the same with them. That being said, we got a mixed bag of results. But he's a top ten guy with everybody. Top five, top three with most recruiting sites. But the market's saying, hey, we like him. Georgia doesn't go after scrubs. Florida State doesn't go after scrubs. Miami doesn't go after scrubs. South Carolina, they try to do their best as well. Alabama, the college football market's saying, hey, at least a top-tier four-star, maybe five-star. We're getting a lot of good offers here. But let's take a look at the highlights. Let's see what he's cooking with. We have five minutes and 14 seconds. Let's let it roll. He was not highlighted on the first play, but that's him. That's him. Remember, we're looking at him as a linebacker, not a wide receiver. So when you're judging speed, you got to adjust for that and for his size. So we got some good burst there, some good footwork as well. Look at the grass, though. Look at, ooh, good pop off the step. What I was talking about the grass there, it's not the greatest condition, so you're not going to see, you may see slippage and stuff. Coming off good, coming off in a hurry. I like that. He was playing contained, made his read, stepped up to it. Good hands, quick hands, quick and strong. Gets to the quarterback. I like that we can pass rush in a hurry. We got a lot of edge to him as well. On offense here, catch the ball in the backfield. He's got good footwork. That was my guess from the basketball background. That's going to be a little bit light on his feet. Reason the momentum of the defenders very well here. So we're watching him play on offense, and you want to see how that could correlate to playing linebacker at the college level. Vision, being able to manipulate space, being able to read leverage, because you're going to, have to you pretty much do the opposite of a running back. He can get downfield and, and make catches. He's got that on his highlight tape at the running back spot. Another thing I'm seeing, he's a pure athlete. Like a big athlete. Let's just say that, big athlete. There's a difference between a, a guy who weighs a buck sixty and runs a 10-5 a and a guy with good size adjusted athleticism for the linebacker position. It's just totally different athlete, but he's a big athlete. Let's just call it that. And he gets to the ball, he's quick, multifaceted player. Seems like he's got the intangibles to make reads instantly. Like a natural ability. We're seeing that on offense. 
the way he can read the flow of the his blockers and defenders around him and make the look how quick he is off the step there. He's very explosive. That's what you want out of your linebackers. The top end speed, that's cool for a pick six and all. That pop off the step. That play prior to this, you saw more of that. When he's in a hurry, that's a big deal. That, that's going to be huge for recover. Ooh, like that spin. He's got very sweet feet. A little indecisive in the beginning, but we finished strong there. Now we're on the outside. We're coming up. I don't know if you really needed to go up at that blocker. I think you probably could have dead-legged him out and had a smoother flow to the quarterback. Here we go. We're coming up. Good read. He has good vision. He has the ability to read bodies. That's what that tells me when he's playing running back. That's what we're seeing here when in the run game. He has the ability to read bodies, read flow, read momentum. He has sweet feet, though. That is the intangible that sticks out the most. He glides laterally. When he's peeling off a block, he's going to peel off it smooth, and he's going to have pop off that step. We saw that on a few of those plays where he needed to show pop or wanted to show pop or however that was. But he has tremendous burst off the step. He has the smoothest feet you'll see for a guy his size. A very efficient feet. Takes the right steps. Glides almost. He has, he has the feet of a like 180 pound guy. Maybe 150. He's got strong hands. He's got quick hands. He has good vision. There were a couple plays, I say two, where his vision could have been a little better. But outside of that. He's a dog. He's got some dog. And see that? The smoothness? The smoothness of that spin move? That just looks like a, a basic spin move to somebody else. But how that feet turns, how it whips, that's an intangible you're not going to see too much. That's what these college teams are looking at. They're also seeing a guy who's very versatile. That You can use him on the edge and you can use him on the inside. He, he's also very assertive and aggressive. I'll say the big thing here is 24-7 Sports does not have a scouting report on him. See how quick and easy that was just to watch this tape and talk about him and just yell out the traits and what you see? That's it. It took like the entirety of the tape. You got a scouting report, another couple minutes to write up. 24-7 Sports can't, can't handle to do that. Let's go back and look. They don't have a scouting report on this kid. They just don't. They didn't write a scouting report up. They're lazy. So that's something you got to think about when you look at a player, you look at their star rating, you look at their rankings, how deeply are they looking at some of these players? I feel like they're kind of getting late to the game when it comes to the 2025 class because we've seen some weird instances with some of these top players already. But my assessment on him, the trait that stands out the most is that footwork and his feet. He's very light on his feet. He covers a lot of ground laterally. Spin moves, change of direction skills, top tier elite, especially for his size. Good movement skills for his size. He's got a lot of pop off the step. He's very quick. So combine that with the change of direction, peeling off a block, or having to recover from a running back that pops out on the hole from the other side. He's going to get there. He's going to get there. We got some top end speed. It's not elite, but it's very good for the position. It's very good for size. Size adjusted athleticism is there with Zayden Walker. He's got power. He's got quickness. He's strong. We got another year to build off this. So we're going to get bigger. We're going to get stronger. And typically as we mold into that, we'll get a little quicker as well. We should see a senior tape and be very excited about that. I think Zayden Walker's got a lot of upside here. I think if I'm a top-tier Power 5 program, I'm going to look at him, and I'm going to look at him as a ball of clay that I know I can do something with because he's showing a lot there. His intangibles are very good. He's got some stuff on his tape that other top-tier linebackers don't have. The size of just athleticism, the movement skills, the quick hands, not all linebackers who's rated as a, like a top-end four-star don't have that. 
And if you can build on top of that, you got yourself a guy that could be elite guy at the college level. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.